so welcome back i hope you've liked share and subscribe to my youtube channel and this is a fresh new class i'll be teaching you what this face is looking like and what it's all about okay um all these windows you're seeing all these windows you're seeing here are called a dock and they have different functions different um use what they are used for and the rest okay um if you check up here you see where the root learning assembling editing color after um sorry effects audio caption and graphics and library okay these are all already set docs already there is this editing mode if you look at this interface you're seeing some docs they are like four five okay yeah, one two three four five six docs here yeah this is a, these are the six docs the six basic i call it the six basic doc if you come to this doc here let's start with let's start with the uh, number one doc this beginning if you if you check on top of this doc you're seeing source effect control audio clips mixing metal data if you click on this source if you notice there is no clip because there is no video here for me to use and display what it does this source is okay let me say i import a video what this source does is is for you to like preview your video before you edit you use your source to preview your videos before putting it on your timeline i know you don't understand what is timeline but i'll i'll, I'll show you what the timeline is so this is where you preview all your all your stock footages or your clip before you edit then the next one is effect control effect control is where you 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 set all your tracking positioning scaling rotation opacity audio audio setting and the rest this is where you do your setting for your effects in general then you come here audio clip audio clip is for you to um to adjust the audio to boost the audio of a particular clip you're working on let me say you're working on this audio on this clip here you're working on this clip if you notice that when it's playing there's an audio spike there and i want to boost the audio or well, is left or right out pan it left or out pan it right i want to track how i want the audio to start and finish this is where i do it then here is where you get the details of the clip you're working with all the, all the clips you're working with this is where you get all the details anything anything about the uh, clip or the camera you use you use and shoot it and the rest this is where you get your the whole details what frame and the rest this let's put it that this is where you get the the, the data of your clip then let's go to the next window and this next window is called your program your program is like a a, a a screen where you you view what what you're editing this is where you view all the things you're editing as you're editing and you're playing you're seeing it here instead of seeing it on the source monitor if you notice as i'm moving the as i'm moving the arrow on the timeline is not moving on the source monitor but it's moving on the program monitor because this is where your final output comes out from all your final output this is where it comes from then down here you see in the third in the third window you see there are some other um characteristics on that here you see projects under this project this is where you create all your stuff importing of your videos and the rest and i'll show you how to import your video there are two ways to import your video neither you double click and click on the footage or you you right click come to to um, import 
then click on the footage then open those are the two ways for you to uh, create to import your footage then this uh, pro project is where is the same place where your 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 sequence your sequence file comes in there are two ways to create your sequence file either you hold one of the clip and drag it to your timeline it creates a sequence file or you have a specific sequence you want to be working with you come you right click you come to new item sequence click sequence then either you do a customized sequence or you click a random sequence from here then ok and it creates the sequence for you I'll, later on I'll, in another video I'll teach you how to create a sequence and, or create a customized sequence I'll explain what sequence is here you have your media browser this is where you browse some clips let me say okay here I want to browse out some clips this is where I can browse out some clips before I go and import to find where it is exactly then here libraries the same thing with the other one I showed you here info this info is all about what you're working on your timeline and the rest then you have your effects this is these are all your effects your transition your audio treatment your video effects your audio effects your color presets and the rest this is where you get them then here on the fourth tab is called your tools every worker has a tool you have your your selector or your selecting tools then here we have your track selector forward if you right click on it or you hold it down it brings you track selector forward or track selector backwards then you have your ramp editor you have your bleed or your razor or your cutting tool we have your split tool we have your your pen tool we have your rectangular tool we have your hand tool we have your text tool after in a, another video I'll, I'll explain all these tools then here you have your timeline bar this is where you do all your editing your cutting and joining and the rest as you guys call it cut and join this is where you do all your cut and join it's called your timeline tool then over here the last bar you're seeing over here is called your audio wave this is where you check whether your audio is clipping or you have a good audio or you have a bad audio whether the audio is bad if it's bad it clips if it's okay it stays on a, a, a certain level if it's too low it goes very very low and the rest in other and on that video i'll explain that one too so Thank you, like and subscribe as we move to the next class. Thank you.